At the start of the movie, one morning Sylvia wakes John early after their intimate night together to get him out of the house so that she could go to work. Seeing that she's depressed and not want him to be there, he leaves. Later as Sylvia gets into a car she notices a stranger watching her, but she ignores him and gets on the way with her friend Laura. When they drive off the stranger, he starts following them. Soon after, the ladies arrive at work at a dining restaurant where the man takes note of the place before leaving. As the day begins Sylvia checks the kitchen where John apparently works as a chef. Ignoring him she heads to the dining room catching the eye of a businessman dining there. Then breaks out, sitting by the shore upset and regretful that we still don't know the reason for that. Sylvia cut herself with a rock then heads to a nearby cliff, gazing at the raging waters below curiously. Before deciding not to give chances to her distrustful thoughts further, she returns back to work. The businessman asks Sylvia out that night and the stranger follows Sylvia home where she spends intimate time with the customer. The next day at work Sylvia stresses over in Senator dining there and tells the head chef to prepare the usual meals for him. John inquires who she was with last night, but Sylvia reminds him to focus on his work and disarming him by getting busy with the phone. After closing, the businessman arrives to pick up Sylvia but John catches up and criticizing her promiscuity. Sylvia retorts about his wife and being married to someone other woman, saying that he can talk only after leaving his wife. Despite this John follows as they drive onto an empty road, arguing unaware that the stranger is nearby. Ultimately he ruins her date in forcing her to walk, then John offers offers a ride home which she refuses. Passing by the stranger Sylvia can't understand his Spanish, but after he offers her a ride in English, she accepts. In the car the man introduces himself as Carlos. Upon arriving to her apartment Sylvia invites Carlos inside and tries to seduce him, but to her surprise he refuses and leaves. On the other side of the story, we go way back where all these confusing drama has started. Open up in New Mexico where Santiago takes his younger brother Cristo to a burned out trailer in the middle of nowhere. He tells Cristo that this is where their father and the woman he was having an affair with died. Santiago wonders what his father was thinking when he burned alive inside. Santiago finds his mother Anna drinking his father's whiskey with her sister and a friend. He points out that they're drinking his father's whiskey, but Anna jokes that the dead man won't be drinking it anymore. The next day Anna refuses to attend the funeral so the brothers go alone. After the funeral the family of the woman confronts them. The woman's husband Robert yells that he hopes Santiago's father burns in hell, blaming him for his wife's death. The brothers ignore this although Santiago notices Robert's eldest daughter Mariana. In a flashback it's revealed that Santiago's father, Nick met up with his lover Gina who was Robert's wife. Nick drove Gina to a borrowed trailer before their deaths. Now a little back, on the day of Gina's funeral Santiago follows her family home and waits until Mariana is alone then approaches her. Santiago assures Mariana that he doesn't want to argue about their families, instead he wants to understand what drew his father and her mother together to end up like these. In another flashback Robert returns home earlier than Gina expects. She makes up stories to go out alone but Robert insists on joining her. As they drive Gina claims she forgot her wallet and returns to the house, however Mariana also goes back inside and overhears Gina telling someone I love you on the phone. At the store Gina gives Mariana the grocery list then asks for the car keys claiming she needs to get fabric. Suspicious Mariana watches her mother hurry to the car and drive off where Nick is waiting her. Gina later returns to the store claiming the fabric fabric order wasn't ready. As they leave Mariana ignores her lying mother. Now, having realized the truth after her mother's death, Mariana reflects on this day as she secretly meets Santiago. When he hits a bird with a slingshot Mariana tries and succeeds. As they cook the bird Santiago shares, he learned to hunt from his dad. Mariana asks if he loved his father, and Santiago says yes. She admits she loved her mother too, but didn't like her. Surprisingly Mariana grabs the cooked bird straight from the fire unfazed by the heat. Years later Santiago now a crop duster pilot sprays pesticides over a farm. His daughter prepares food at a nearby shed. Suddenly she sees Santiago's plane crash and his daughter Maria rushes over. As Santiago is taken to the hospital a worried Maria watches the doctors tend to him. However when Santiago wakes up he asks to see Carlos. Santiago asks Carlos to take his daughter to her estranged mother. Though Maria resisted going, but then Carlos and Maria booked a motel room in Oregon where Maria inquires about her mother. Carlos tells her that her mother was already gone when he met Santiago his friend, and her father searched for her for a long time blaming himself for her departure. Hearing this Maria asserted that she had no interest in meeting her mother, but Carlos has to complete the task of getting Maria to her mother as his friend Santiago has insisted. We go again to another line of the story, where Gina surprised Nick by cleaning their secret trailer, though she complaining of having no hot water. When Nick touched her she stopped him, explaining her discomfort with that part of her body. She revealed that she had 
cancer two years ago. Despite the snake kissed her and assuring that he doesn't mind her scars. That night when Gina returned home Mariana tells that her brother needs stitches after an injury. He starts crying for his mother and making Gina feel guilty for neglecting her kids. The next day Gina bid her children farewell as they went to school. Unbeknown to her, Mariana decided to investigate her mother's suspicious behavior. Lying about forgotten homework as an excuse to go back, she comes to the trailer where Nick had just installed gas tanks to have hot water. Seeing her mother with another man devastates Mariana. In the present Sylvia walks after Carlos rejects her only to find he's following her. She confronts him, and he reveals that he knows she's Mariana. She denies it until he mentions Santiago and shows a photo of Maria, claiming she's Mariana's daughter. Denying this Sylvia tells him to stay away and leaves. Later that night staring at the photo of the baby she abandoned years ago, confirms that she is Mariana, when we see her in the past sharing family photos with Santiago after their parents died. When he asked to keep a photo, but Mariana wants a scar and return to help remember that day. Santiago agreed and asked for one also, not wanting to forget her either. That night Mariana and Santiago used a lighter to scar themselves to retain their time. Afterwards Santiago offered to stay at her father's empty house, promising not to touch her. In the memories of parents Santiago asked Mariana to wear her mother's nightgown while he wears his father's shirt. She did so and joined him in bed after changing. Despite his promise they ended up kissing. Back to present, a distraught Mariana struggles to focus at work she privately asks John if he could ever love her. When he says yes she suggests running together to somewhere, but he hesitates disappointing her. Arriving home she finds Carlos waiting with Maria. Scared Mariana leaves and disappointing them. In her past, confirming her mother's affair, her mother returns home late and hurriedly prepared dinner. When Mariana questioned her lateness she lied about visiting a friend. However Mariana had already checked and knew she wasn't there. Gina dodged further questions redirecting her to help out. The next day worried Mariana knows about their affair, Gina met Nick to break up, but he refuses, believing they are in love and can wait for a way to continue. Gina later surprised her family with a picnic but Mariana refuses, claiming she has a school project, but instead she explores the trailer where her mother secretly meets Nick. In the present, those memories now make Mariana change her mind. She asks Laura for help to find Carlos and Maria. While checking motels doesn't get them anywhere close to Carlos and Maria. While taking a break, Laura asks what happened. So Mariana admits leaving her daughter two days after birth, feeling undeserving years ago. She had surprised Santiago by introducing herself to his mother and aunt. Afterwards still seeking closure about their deceased parents, Mariana asked to see the bedroom. There they shared a romantic time together. Weeks before this, while Gina and Robert her husband were intimating, but he couldn't get her through when leaving Gina self-conscious and unsatisfied. Days passed, boring of her passionless life Gina returned to Nick. Unknown to her, Mariana followed them again and saw them together. Wanting to revenge the heartbroken daughter broke the gas pipe aiming to just scare them. In the present, Mariana and Laura finally find Carlos. Mariana demands to see her daughter but the betrayed girl refuses, so Carlos shuts the door. Unwilling to give up Mariana books a room close to Carlos and Maria. However the next day she discovers that they are packing up to leave. While Carlos is in the parking lot Mariana rushes to their room to speak with Maria. She begs to talk but Carlos returns and blocks her, but finally Maria decides to give her mother a chance and asks Carlos to leave them alone together. Mariana apologizes for running away the other day, then sharing her feelings and thought of Maria during all these years away from her, and compliments her resemblance to her father. Just then Maria reveals that her father Santiago had a plane crash and he is in the hospital. After talking Carlos reminds Maria that her father Santiago requested to take her mother with them in Mexico. Maria assures Carlos that her mother will come. Again we go back years ago, Cristo Santiago's brother discovered his relationship with Mariana and told him to end it, but Santiago met Mariana anyway. Returning home Santiago found Anna his mother is waiting, as Cristo had told her everything. She scolded Santiago for seeing his father's mistress's daughter. One night a rock with a letter revealing Mariana's relationship crashed through Robert's window, confronting his daughter Robert hit Mariana when she didn't deny it. As Robert drove off Mariana called Santiago warning him and begging her boyfriend to get her. Now at the hospital Mariana is waiting to visit Santiago. Back to container, the day after breaking the gas pipe Gina and Nick met again. Trusting her lover Gina admits one surgery to cover her scar, but Nick assures her that he loves the scar. As they kiss Mariana lit their gas pipe, expecting to force them out and catch them together. However she is getting worried when they didn't exit. As the flames spread Mariana called to her mother, but before she could act the gas tank exploded trapping the couple inside. Mariana cried realizing what she had done. Now Mariana learns Santiago's leg infection may require amputation. Visiting the man Mariana 
stares silently at her former lover. As the doctor suggests leaving Mariana asks to stay alone. She sits with Santiago hoping he'll survive to raise Maria and admitting her fear confessing Nick and Gina's deaths has haunted her since. That night Robert discovered the relationship he stopped to mourn the damage to his family, while Santiago passes by and they shared a look before Santiago drove on to get Mariana. She quickly joined him and they run away. That evening after seeing Santiago Mariana stays with Maria. Maria noticing their matching scar from Burns, she asks her mother if she'll stay. Mariana can't defend herself against Maria's assumptions, saying that she'll leave them again. In Santiago's room Mariana sees the picture she gave him years ago, revealing her pregnancy, recalling their moment where she scared to keep the child, but Santiago promised they could start over in Mexico. Speaking to Maria the next day Mariana admits leaving because she feared Maria would turn out like her. She begs for her forgiveness, but Maria doesn't say anything. At the hospital they learned that Santiago won't need amputation, putting a smile on Maria's face, she invites Mariana to see her father, accepting her mother into the family. It takes us to the past once more for the last time, reviewing all the secrets tearing them apart. Mariana accepts the invitation, hopeful they can finally end the cycle. 